I quickly want to start out tonight by saying, as should be obvious, that I am in no way a poetical scholar or literary scholar or, frankly, any kind of scholar. I just like reading poetry and short stories and finding out more about the poets and writers and people in general, because that's probably the actor in me wanting to know what makes things tick. Um, so I would urge you tonight to follow the link about this poet, um, all poets that I read, but this one is particularly a fascinating study and horrifying study in what can happen to a man's mind, soul, art under a repressive regime. This is a Ukrainian poet who wrote during the early 20th century. Um, his style was to write in two parts, a uh, four-part and the uh, antistrophe, which uh, is a, another view of what's going on, as I understand it. Tonight's poem was written in 1920. Terror by Pavlo Tichina. This was translated by Virlana Tkats and Wanda Phipps. So again, we take the Bible, philosophers and poets. The person who said, Thou shalt not kill. In the mornings found shot through the head. And in the dump the dogs fight over the body. Sleep. Do not awake, mother. A noble idea requires sacrifices, but is it a sacrifice when beast devours beast? Do not awake, mother. Brutal aesthetics. When will you stop admiring slit throats? Beast devours Beast. Antistrophe. Aeroplanes and all the latest technology. What good are they when people don't look each other in the eye? Don't throw the enraged in prison. They are their own prisons. Universities, museums, and libraries cannot provide what can be found in brown, gray, or blue eyes. Terror by Pavlo Tchina, translated by Irlana Tkats and Wanda Phipps. We lose our humanity when we stop recognizing each other as individuals, as communities, as we see it more and more in the world today. All right, I don't want this to be too long tonight. The links to assist the ongoing humanitarian effort in Ukraine are where they live in the description. I will see you tomorrow.